So I was hoping that I would start this series of videos, this YouTube channel with a nice, tidy, pristine workshop that you guys would be envious of and intrigued by. But that isn't the case, mainly because I've got a lot of new tools that have joined me that I need to make some homes for, get set up and get organized. So the tidiness will follow. So for now, you just have to bear with me. We'll see where we get to. My plans today are to get this bench back up and running because it's turned into a bit of a dumping ground. There's various things all over it. Um, this will be where I'm stripping and rebuilding suspension and that means shocks and forks. Forks most workshops and bike shops are quite happy to do, but not so much shocks. And that comes down to two things really. Being able to get uh, clean, air-free oil into the systems of the rear shop, and also charging them with nitrogen. Nitrogen in rear shops helps things work better, work longer, work harder in more extreme conditions. So I need to plumb in my nitrogen that's arrived today and I also need to clear the bench and carry on doing my vacuum bleeder that I'm building up. First, I'm gonna have a coffee and then we'll see where we are. Of course, now the washing machine is starting to go off, so it sounds probably no struggle, but I guess this is what it's about, isn't it? I'm trying to show you what it's like to be a bike mechanic, to live bikes and just, just breathe them. And it sounds silly to say, and it sounds contrived, but they're such a big part of my life that I can't detach myself from, that this feels really genuine. And I want you guys to see what it's like living with, working from home in my workshop, not having a traditional shop environment for people to come and see, um, and how it works. And hopefully you'll want to make the trip down, come and see the chaos, come and see the kids, um, and everything else that, that goes on here. So yeah, this is, this is really exciting, it feels like the start of, of not just a new chapter in my business, but a, a new kind of uh, adventure. Oof, this, this is really contrived, isn't it? Don't switch off, it will get better. And there'll be bike stuff, I'm sure, not just nice shots of me making coffee. So yeah, hang in there. Existential tea break over. Let's get back to bikes and tools and things. Um, I thought I'd just show you some of the bits and pieces I use regularly to service suspension, uh, forks and shocks and drop a seat post. Um, it's not a cliche when people say you need the right tool for the job. It makes things so much easier, so much quicker, um, reduces the risk of damaging things, which when you're working at stuff professionally is what you need to do. So. Here's a couple of things that I, I could do, I could not live without to do to do what I do regularly. So the first one are the Nipex plier wrenches. They're available in a couple of different sizes. They feel really really nice to use. They work insanely well um, for anything that's got spanner flats on it inside uh, a dropper, um, a damper. Um, an air shaft, anything like that, anything you need to, to get apart. These work so well and they're more accurate and reliable. They don't slip like an adjustable wheel. Um, and yeah, I, I just really, really love these. They're, they're just fantastic. Um, the next thing is a ratchet. Amazing for 
anything with loads and loads of threads to undo um, and just really nice to sit and fiddle with. Um, this one is a snap-on one. I've had it for probably about eight years. Obviously, it's pretty much indestructible. It's got a couple of nicks and marks on it. It adds to the patina, but yeah, I'm mechanically speaking, I'm not stripping engines apart. I'm not going to have any problems with this for, for so long. Um, it's just reliable. It feels right. It feels familiar. And I, I really love using it. Um, obviously, with a ratchet, you need sockets. And to get into air cartridges and damper cartridges and forks, um, all of those will have a, a spanner flat, effectively. Um, and you need a socket to get into those. These ones are from Park. They're six-point sockets, so they sit nicely over the top of the, the cartridge and stop it from twisting and, and getting marked. And then they're ground as well, so a regular socket will have a sort of chamfer to it, and these ones don't. So they sit flush, which allows them to, again, grip and not come apart. Um, I've got those in various sizes. I've got some beta ones here that I got from uh, Mojo when they were still Mojo, no, not Silverfish. And they're indispensable. Um, PB Swiss, Wara, a um, couple of different ones there. Allen keys in all different sizes, um, super, super tiny ones there as well, um, just to get the little adjusters and grub screws out to get that get that working properly. Um, and then these, which you may or may not have seen before, these are to take the shaft, the damp shaft and the air shaft out of a fox fork. Um, so the idea is that you unthread the foot nut on the fork, thread this in a few turns and then give it a little whack with a hammer and that dislodges the, the damper shaft and the air shaft from the lowers of the fork and then you can pull them away. You won't damage the threads of the fork. Um, yeah, they're, again, very specific, but as with everything bikes, you need them to do the job properly. Uh, and then we've got some different greases, saran butter, fuzzy slick honey, and I've got a nice big shelf of, of all the different oils and lubes and, and stuff that I need to fill these shocks with to make them work properly. The last thing I probably want to show you is this fellow, which is uh, a park tool bench mounted work stand. Sorry, I've probably shaken the camera there. And this is great to hold forks while you're getting the oil out of them, uh, putting them back together, getting the oil back into the lowers properly. Um, this part tool, I will probably end up monologuing at length about these, these stands. I've used them for the whole time I've been self-employed and I don't think I, anyone could come up with anything that would make you think otherwise. The park stuff is just second to none when it comes to holding bikes and bits of bike in the right place while you can work on them. So obviously there's a lot more that we can talk about um, and a lot more things in the shed that I want to show you but for the time being this is a, a good little starter. Um, I need to go and do some other work now so I'll set up some shots of some other bits and pieces we're doing. Um, and yeah, I'll, I'll see you next time.